Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So last episode we did pretty well, we picked up some good stuff. Um, and both of our hunchbacks escaped unscathed, so we're going to refit them today. So I think what I was doing was I was getting the G model and the H model confused. For some reason I was thinking that the H model was the one that was the older version with the primitive armor, but it's actually the G model that is. Um, so we're going to do a couple things today. We want to outfit the G model as our melee mech. So we got some stuff to going on with that one. And we want to outfit the H model as a medium pulse laser uh, crazy mech. So we're going to just refit these guys real quick here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out all this stuff. All the weapon systems for now because we're going to be moving these around. And we don't need this. In, well, we might need it later. Uh, we'll leave it in for now. Um, Let's do this first, confirm this, and confirm. And now we want to work on the G, Hunchback G. So this is going to be our punchback. So we're going to pull out the, these weapon systems. The case can come out, medium pulse laser can come out, medium pulse. We're going to leave the warfare suite in. I want that in. We're going to pull out the spiked helmet, and I'll show you why in a second. So we're going to pull that out for now. Uh, and the advanced TC breaching shot, are we going to need that? Probably not. Um, thermal vision and stuff. We're going to leave it on for now, I th think. We may change it, but let's confirm this and then we'll come back in here and do some stuff here in a second. So, in turning this into a melee mech, uh, G version, right? Um, what we want to do is make sure all of, like if you're outfitting a melee mech, um, I was told, and it does actually work. What you want to do is outfit all the weapon systems first, that, or all the systems that give just bonus damage. So in this case, it's only going to be our pirate uh, medium lasers. So we're going to drop one in here. Uh, we cannot drop one in the head yet, but we can put one in here. Um, the only other place we have a, a laser hard point is the head, so we just have to wait, unfortunately, for this last one. So we drop those two in first. And then we have to go to equipment, and what you want to do is then, once you have all your bonus melee damage items in, that are just bonus melee damage, then you want to drop in anything that's bonus melee damage plus percentage. So in this case it will be the retractable blade. And let's put it in this arm. Actually, let's put it on this side over here. I want to put it on the side with the uh, Warfare Suite, the side that we're going to protect. I think we'll be protecting the left side of this guy if we can. Uh, so we'll do that and drop that in. And then you want to drop in anything that adds bonus after that, which in this case would just be the pirate spiked helmet. Uh, the reason why you do it that way is because when it does all its multiplications, it adds the base melee damage first, and then it adds the percentages afterwards based on the item. So in this case, if we had a base damage of, let's say, 50, then it would become 56, then it would become 62. But then when we drop this in, Right, it would become 67 plus 45 percent, and then once we drop the helmet in, it's just plus 10 percent on top of all of that. So it adds it up as it goes along. So you want to add all the bonus damage first before you start multiplying percentage-wise, um, because once the multiplications percentage-wise happen, if that happens early, you're getting less base damage than if you add just the base melee damage first. If that makes sense. Uh, but anyway, in this case, we can't add the other pirate medium laser because it's two slots and it won't fit in the head. We have to add the spike helmet first, and then we can fit it in, unfortunately. So we lose a little bit of damage that way, but uh, in this case, we still, we're still able to get it all in. So now that we've got those in, we want to go and to our equipment, and we want to get our mask system in here. Here we go. So we got some speed happening. Um, uh, in this case, you know what, I think we do want the attractable blade on this side. Sorry about that. I'm thinking we want to protect the mask more than we do the warfare suite. We can find these easier than we can masks, so we'll go that right. So what's our heat sinking at right now? 66 out of 6, uh, sorry, 66, and Alpha Strike is 60, so that's good. Um, now, is there anything else we can add in here? I don't think so. I'm um, just thinking damage-wise. We could go with jump jets on this guy, but I'm thinking we have a bigger engine core, 280. Let's see if that can... Uh, make a difference here. Way too much. We can pull out a couple double heat sinks. Whoops, not that. Yeah, it's still way too much. Don't have anything in between, eh? Guess not. So we have to stick with the 240 until we can find something better. Okay, well, not much we can do there. Uh, let's have a look then. 
Uh, what else can we add here? Now we can't add anything anymore to the head. Gem chance are a possibility. Um, what about we have any? Uh, we have a tag fluid gun nar narc launcher. We do have inferno fluid ammo, so we could put in a fluid gun in this guy. Or the tag. Fluid gun is what? This is two tons? No, one ton and one ton of ammo. So we could put both. Let's put the tag on this side. And then let's put the, a fluid gun in with fluid ammo. And let's put the fluid ammo down here, I guess. It's only got eight shots. Um, let's just drop it in the leg. Yeah, let's go that route. I think that's pretty good. We don't have any we don't have any narc ammo, unfortunately, but uh, that's pretty good overall. Um, so let's go this route, and we'll see how it does eventually. What's our melee here? It says it says thirty three, but it's not. We'll know when we get into battle. So we were punching sixty before with the other one. So let's find out what we're punching with this guy when we get into battle. So twelve days. That's a lot more than I thought it would be, but that's fine. It's only twelve thousand, which means it's easy to update. So let's have a look at the H. So the H, H is going to be our, our laser boat, medium pulse laser boat. Um, so we're going to pull out, we are going to pull out the ballistic for now because we want to put in the, where are you here? Um, I thought we had, here it is. Oh, it's a TTS. Oh, that's even better. Um, let's drop the, let's drop an ECM in as well. And let's move the patchwork materials out of the center torso into the leg. Put the TTS in the center torso. Protect it a little more. Um, let's start by putting the weapons in. So we've got a ton of medium pulses here, I thought. Oh, we got two X pulses. Let's put those in the arms. And then we got two more medium pulses for the torso. Um, pirate medium heavy. This thing's got a chance to misfire and discharge for 50 damage. I don't really like that idea. The large pulse too. Don't really have the weight for it, but we are gonna have to look at our heat sinking here. So let's do, um, like the clan XL engine. It's like prohibitive, like cost prohibitive right now. Just no way it's gonna happen. We do have an exchanger we can drop in. Let's put this up here. Um, Actually, let's, yeah, let's put it with the pulse lasers. Um, what else do we have here? We got one ballistic slot. Hmm. Not a lot of weight. What if we do... Um, we can't put the gyro in. What if we move this up here for now? That'll give us three and a half tons. I mean, we could still go with the machine gun array. I don't even think we need to put this in there. Two and a half tons. Do we have any more? We don't. Uh, what's our heat sinking at right now? We're pretty good, I think. Yeah. So if we go with... Um, just go to ballistic. Do we have a heavy machine gun? I thought we did. We do. It's a really short range, though. So if I go with the machine gun array... ...and tracer ammo... ...we'd have to add case... ...to... ...which we have... And then, I guess, the uh, TTS energy. Let's move it over here. And then let's put... Um, actually, we can put the, we can put case 2 in the leg, right? We can. Let's do that. Then I feel pretty comfortable. Well, if we get this side hit, though... I don't know. It's really weird. I don't want to lose all the components if we lose the side. So we're over by one ton right now. Uh, what can we lose for a ton? Anything? Nothing. Don't want to lose this. God, really? Hmm.
I guess we just go with the regular heavy machine gun. Machine gun plus extra crit chance for half a ton. We got a ton left over. Got lots of armor. Tracer rounds. What is there anything we got for we can drop in for a ton? Anything? Anything? Extra heat sink, but do we we don't need it? Um a couple of jump jets maybe? I mean just for now. Now nah, we're gonna be in close with this guy. I don't wanna do that. This weighs how much? Nineteen and this one is eighteen and a half. Can up the engine slightly. Um God, I don't even know. Half ton jump jet. <laughs> Just to round it out, just in case we need to jump down from somewhere. All right, let's go that route. Let's confirm this. So both of these hunchbacks are really lacking uh, hard points, unfortunately. So we want to do, yep, that's the right order. So we should be back in uh, 18 days, I think. Takes us past the financial report. We're good for that, though, so let's do that. And then we can get into a battle here. So I'm really hoping we can uh, utilize these two hunchbacks a little better this time around. Um, oh, God. Oh, morale increased by one. Both of them get brave. Nice. We lose 2,000, but it could have been a lot worse if we had to vent the pod into space. But brave is have is nice thing to have. Let's actually have a look at that really quick. I think it will stop them from punching out, if I believe correctly. I hear ya. Um, so Brave is... Well, it doesn't really tell you, does it? No. I believe it gives him a bonus to resist uh, punching out. Alright, let's uh, continue on here. So we got our financial report. report yeah, no big deal. We need to make some C-bills now for sure. Well, we got some cores we can sell if we have to. So let's get the hunchbacks back. So I'm thinking the assassin is now pretty much, compared to what we have, is obsolete. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? Did I forget to do it? I did. I forgot to fix the hunch the uh, fire starter. Well, we it would have been we would have had to wait till the the other mechs were finished repairing anyway. So, all right, let's um, repair this. I don't think we have any lower arms. We do have an upper arm, but I don't think it. Uh, the hands don't work on this guy, right? Yeah. Uh, so let's move the lower arm over to this side because we're going to have two flamers in there. We got a pair of backup flamers we can drop in. So hopefully we find some more. Let's confirm this three days. Right. I'll get it in the skip. Um, so for the interest of time, I think we'll just take a mission right now. I know we're down a mech, but not a big deal. So let's find a nice house Karita contract we can take that's half decent, maybe. Hold the line, defending a base. Um, that's a possibility in the Badlands. That could be tricky, depending on how many guys we face at Two Skulls. Frontal Assault, another defend base. Trap Sprung. Let's go, tra let's go spring a trap. I think that's probably a good idea. Going to go full salvage on this one. Alright, let's get the assassin in. Now let's make sure we got the punch back down here, correct? Yep, alright. Megasaurus got the punch back, so let's deploy this and get it done. Alright. Yeah, not liking this map, but that's fine. We know where our reinforcements come in from over here so I mean there's really two ways to do this if you're worried about how heavy the attack will be from this side you can drop down here and shield yourself uh, from the move in and then 
hopefully kill these guys before the reinforcements show up. Or if you're confident enough, you can take off this way and go after the reinforcements before going after this guy, which is what we're going to do. Um, Commander. Simply because it's only one guy over there, so... Not really worried about that. Plus, I don't want to be lower down if we're fighting four guys on this side and only one over here. Keep our height advantage as best we can. I'm really interested to see how far that uh, Hunchback G can move now with the uh, mask system. She's going pretty slowly though, unfortunately. Yes, Commander. Makes me wish we had the uh, fire started here, but I didn't want to wait three days. Yeah, it's pretty darn good. I copy. So what's our melee damage? 97. Weird, I was calculating in my head before I actually did this. Um, and I was saying, oh, it's probably going to be around 98, 97, somewhere in there. And yeah, sure enough, 97. Nice. So we increased our damage by, uh, what, 37 over the last... Uh, outfit and that was just by putting the retractable blade in that's all we did that was different plus the order we put stuff on too right why do you have the sensor trace and we don't oh there it is wolfhound don't come to battle with little armor buddy Megasaur. I think I want to go more on this side. On it. Two vehicles. Still going to go back to this guy though. So our heat sinking is really good on this guy. Uh, we'll be in a melee next round, but um, still really good. Even in a hot environment, we're not like super overheating. It's really the Wolverine we got to work on. Um, I think once we. Uh, Figure out what we're doing here. We'll probably drop in the um, heat sink cooling pod into the Wolverine if we can. Um, we're out of range, eh? We just can't see the other guy. I guess this is too big of a hill here. So rather than waste our uh, waste a bit of heat on this, we're just going to move up. Commander. And same thing with Comet. We're just going to move into here. All right, see what they do. He's running, see ya. Probably a smart move on his part. Vedette coming up, AC5, oh, nothing. AC2, Vedette. All right, so standing by. Move into here. We're going to use the uh, hunchback to squash this guy. So I'll fire everything on this one. One more for the rubbish bin. You know what? It's what you get for showing up to a mech fight in a tank. Let's go after that guy. Interested to see what we can get hit-wise with our pulse lasers. Wow. Look at the machine gun off. We'll fire the pulses. A lot of nothing. That's even with that plus two to hit, man. Um... Should I rob him of the kill? No, I think we need to go after the... Uh... The wolf found. What's up, Wolfie? Wow. Alright, firing. 
It's the mass that's killing us weight-wise, or heat-wise, I mean. Yes, Commander. Megasaur. Alright, let's get the, uh... Ah, crap, I shouldn't have turned my back. Oh, well. Should uh, I should have gone from the back or front or something. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Nice. So the reserves are almost gone here. No biggie on that one. Urban mech, huh? Wow. Ready for order. It really is a roll of the dice now, mission-wise, what you're going to get when you're fighting these guys. Okay. Alright, we applied damage to his right side before, so let's do it again. Wow. Man, when you can, when you, when you can see this guy, it makes a huge difference. Alright, dumping everything on him. Man, it reminds me of the Grinner. Hit, from uh yeah man it re totally reminds me of the grinner from uh um jade falcon uh, freeborn let's get into uh, you can see us pretty much everywhere here Well, we got to check out what this mech's going to do, so... Double time. Let's push it a bit to its limits. And yeah, fire everything. We only got four chevrons of evasion, so we need to get our piloting up. Piloting up to six so we can get that extra chevron. Oh, okay, that's the R66. It's the Devil's Autocannon version. Um... So it's got the AC-20, so it's got to be close to use that. Let's get over here. Let's just cook this guy. Bye bye Thanks for coming out. Show up with more armor next time. Uh, yeah, we're out of range. Let's get up over here. Probably good that we're out of range because it was a chance to cool off here. Alright, let's see how far we can go here. Yeah, we probably want to shoot him from the front, I think. See if we can get that arm. Okay, we can see him now. Hopefully we hit him with a tag at least. And yeah, fire it all. Nope. Okay, engine hit. Reporting critical hit. Standing by. We get in the water. Yeah, but we want to be up here. Aye, aye. Won't be able to shoot a whole lot this time, but that's fine. Oh, we've only got two medium max pulses, that's okay. Might as well take all his armor away before we kill him. Aye. Yeah, firing. All right. There we go. Well, that was easy. Looks like I need a new yeah, you'll need a new target, all right. Mission successful. So you really do roll the dice when you take those take the bait missions. In that case, we got out lucky. Uh, which is kind of sucky because we don't really get that much. Devil's AC, though, it's worth a bit. We're going to take that. Um, endocomposite's a possibility. Uh, Pharaoh. How much Pharaoh do we have? Don't have any. Let's grab the Pharaoh and the Endocomposite. We don't have the space for Endocomposite. Um, Spike the helmet we already have. Upper recoil we don't need. Patch materials. Hmm. We really want well you know what we didn't get a lot of coin out of this one so let's take the devil's ac we can sell it 100 and what 
145000 something like that it's worth. Seven slots. I mean, we're not going to, I mean, for the mechs that we have, we'll get like 0.75 tons. Which really isn't a whole lot with this anno composite. So we'll just go this route. We might get it, who knows. Okay, we've got two urban mech parts. We'll found part. Eh, not really a whole lot. AC5 ammo. It's weird now that now that I see the ammo, I'm like, yeah, we got ammo. Because there's so many different varieties of it. Before it was just like, you know, you would constantly be just, just getting AC5. But because of all the different kinds of variants, it's nice to get the ammo so you have it in bay if you need to use it. Okay, almost no damage. I think it was just that one kick that we took. So let's get ourselves back up and running here. Can I have a look at the Wolverine real quick before we do anything else? Just want to see if we can squeak in that uh, um, heat sink cooling pod here. Should have looked at that before, but we got some time now. Um, yeah, we just dropped regular heat sinks in, so let's go to uh, here and put a heat sink cooling pod in. That should help out with heat sinking. Yeah, it's doing a good job there. Um, can't use the proto unless we have a proto engine. I don't think we have anything else here. Yeah, so that's that's okay. Yeah, let's go that route. Log and note. All right, let's get these back. That work order you submitted is complete. All right, seventeen days. Let's see what we got here. I guess we take. I guess we do take that base def defense mission. We could do the f the two skull hold the line. Oh wait, we got settling a grudge now. What's this one against? Against Federated Sons. It's a battle. Let's go do that. Yeah, man. Let's take on the Federated Sons. So how are we doing with Draconis Combine here? We are up to 75. So pulling this mission off should put us over. Cool. Let's go do this. Um... Wolverine. What's up with the Wolverine? What the... F what the... F Can't use the heat sink cooling pod? Um... I don't understand. Oh wait, is this a half a ton? It's only half a ton? Oh, it's the clan version, that's why. Durr. Wow, okay. Don't think we have half a ton's worth of stuff we can drop in here. Oh wait, we have case? Regular case? Got case two, that's one ton. Um, don't have case, eh? Would have been nice. Um, that's fine, we're just gonna go as is. That's I didn't I didn't even register that that was a clan version. Okay. Settling a grudge, let's do this. Let's accept this. Deploy. Yeah, we know. Okay, here we go. All right, let's do this. Well, sometimes they get reinforcements from up here. Let's use this ridge like we always do. Glorious to have masks on all of them, all of my mechs, but it's 
not going to happen. Ready for orders. Okay, going full throttle. All right, let's see what we're up against here. I'm hearing vehicles off to the left, which means they probably have reinforcements. Yep. What's up, boss? Affirmative. We got company. Okay, fire starter and a wasp. Well. Okay, trebuchet. Stand in by. I want to control the right side, I think. And sweep them left. Standing by. I think we want to go this way. A couple of reasons. It's another trebuchet. Um, I want to get some movement in. Okay, is that the tag? It was a tag that hit. Looked like for th was that for three damage though? I don't know. Okay, we're in a good striking distance now. We need to be far farther forward too to get this melee mech into battle. Holding for the right opportunity. Let's see what they do here. Somebody stuck his head out. Let's go punch it in. It's got a pulse laser, nice. Uh start it off. Um, yeah, it's hammer. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Should be able to finish that guy up with a punch. And then we'll get right on that raven while everybody else kills the wolverine. Or the uh, fire starter, I mean. Receiving. Leave the machine gun off for now. Might be able to kill him this way too. Yep. Hostile eliminated. Federated sons. Going down like bums. Shouldn't open my mouth. They're gonna end up creaming me here in a second probably. Okay, that's the S version, which means it's short ranged. Let's get into I'm going to punch you in the face in a second range. That's the LG. Large laser? Wolfhound? Striker? Eighteen twenty. A little better on this guy. Let's just target this guy and fire. Oh, yeah. 
Wow, two hits, nice. And a hunter, okay. Okay, this guy hasn't moved yet. 50, 37, 30. Yeah, let's go after this guy. Gotta get him out of there. Ooh, head hit, nice. It's nice that they've dialed back the number of head hits. Let's hope we hit. Ha <laughs> Yeah, I love this mech. Insult to injury. Let's light him on fire now that he's dead. Okay, that problem solved. Um. Alright, let's move. Now we want to get rid of our guys at our backside here, which means this guy. So firing. So Baba Yaga goes before that guy. Good luck, man. Four chevrons of evasion, warfare suite, and standing in a mineral field. If you were the clans, sure, I'd say yeah. You got a chance, but not Davian. Not at this level, anyway. Alright, we got a lot of heat going on. Let's go this route. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. It's not having a good day. I think he goes next, anyway. There's another 15 over here, which means we go before him. Oh, he's fast. Loop de guerre. What's a loop to gale? Is it loop to gare? No, it can't because the E doesn't have an accent. Loop to gare. Waiting for orders. You think I know that? We're bi we are supposed to be bilingual here in Canada. I'm not fully bilingual. I know enough French to get by, but I mean, almost half of the videos I do are in French. So I can read French fairly well, um, and I can kind of understand it by listening to it, but speaking it, I'm very bad. If I'm in conversation, I kind of have to ask the person to slow down a little bit, just so I can get the uh, meaning. But, uh, yeah, I'm not too bad in French. That's it for that guy. Pilot incapacitated. Okay, that's three down. I think the loop to Gare needs a visit from the Hunchback 1G. At least they're shooting at that guy. I mean, we should just stand back here and get our heat back and have him retreat. Commander? That's actually a good possibility. Let's do that. Acknowledge. And then we can dart in and hammer these guys again. Where are you going? Yes, Commander. Uh, I'm going to reserve Megasaur. Roger that. Standing by. You know, one, the one thing they may want to consider, because reserving is a pretty powerful option, um, they may want to consider each time you reserve, you lose a chevron of evasion. Rather than doing a hesitation 
every time you reserve, you lose a chevron of evasion, which means you've lost your uh, momentum. Wow, he's turning his back to me. He's just asking for it. Anybody see what this guy's got? No. We'll find out in a second, though. Yep, thanks for showing up. Ready for orders. Oh, he's in melee range. Sucks to be you. So he's got a pair of SRM fours plus two SRM two streaks and a medium two medium pulse lasers. Maybe we can pick some up. Here it comes, folks. Come on, CT back, CT back, CT back. Oh, you missed, really? Really? And missed with the flamer and tag, too. No joy. We waited for that. For nothing. They're getting to angle. Yeah. Doesn't quite have the juice to kill you from there. Come on, you guys. He doesn't have the juice either. I'm showing minor damage. He might. My internals are taking a beating. Told you. Warned you about that stuff. You don't eat those tacos before we go into battle, man. Those burritos, man, gives you the runs. All right, let's get this guy. That must have been a torso hit. Nah, missed again with both those. Oh, that was a CT hit. Nice. It's got an XL engine, too. Okay, flowers. Machine gun, max it out. Well... Yeah. I'm here. Double time. I don't know if we're hitting that guy's CT, but firing. Sure. Let's go for stability. Fire. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. See if we can get initiative on him next turn. Sticking on the Hunchback 1G, eh? Standing by. Let's go this route. Ah. Oh, it's knocking him down, though. So if we CT this guy, we should be able to uh, claim those pulse lasers. Want to have at least a couple in storage for backups? Way 
waiting for orders. Yeah, that's good. On the move. Shoot this guy. I'm gonna leave these off for now. Should be able to take them with just the lasers. Yep. Hope we can salvage that. Loop de guerre. Au revoir. Lay mew, lay kill. Uh, Trebuchet has got a launcher in that arm. And we got better chances to hit, so let's take them. And firing. Hmm. Get the mineral field. Shooting the same guy. And fire. His lasers is down, really? All right, let's uh, go this route this time and fire. Don't need to move fast, but we're going to fire everything this time. I'm going to reduce this to four. Less chance of jam, but we're going to fire. Wow, that guy got wrecked that time. He's not having a good day at all. It's always good to stand your lighter max behind your bigger ones. Because chicken. Looks like I need a new target. Yeah, we'll get one in a second. That wolf hound's up next. We got Megasaur coming in after that. I think I want to step on the vehicle though. Next two turns, I'll be stepping on vehicles, and, our, and these three guys will take on the uh, wolf found. Ready for orders. Um, let's just go from the side. I don't want to open up too much of a back attack from this guy. Location confirmed. Here it comes. And squash. Yeah, man. Insult to injury. Destroyed. Yep. That it is. What's this wolf hound doing? Besides thinking he's in over his head. <laughs> yeah. No, he's thinking he's in over his head. <laughs> he's like, I gotta get the hell out of here. This is not good. Not good. He goes on 21 though. He'll be back. Here he comes. Nope. He's still making her. He's like trying to get the hell out of here. It's like, I can't do this anymore. This is not fun. It's not what I signed up for. This is even less of what you signed up for right here. Uh, way more heat in the pulses, though. I'm just going to go this route. 
Uh, gives him nice, nice loose bits of armor so I can come around and get him with this guy. All right. Probably going to have to leave that medium laser off though. Uh, let's go this route. And fire. Almost got him. Yeah, I can't get a back shot on him. Oh well. Alright, firing. Yeah, it's nice to know this vehicle goes on turn one. Where are you going? God damn it. I can't see you. I can't step on you. Orders. I wouldn't be able to reach him anyway. I see you. Here it comes, folks. Wow. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Uh, yep. All right, let's get back over here. Yes, Commander. Ooh, fire with something. Ah, let's leave it off. All right. Oops. Did not mean to do that. My heat gauge is getting pretty high. Yeah, it was my fault. Sorry. Step from the front. Maybe we save the engine. Roger that. Engaging. Nice. Die. Trash. There it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, payment increased by twenty percent. That's good. Got a little bit of damage in the back of the hunchback, but uh, we can get that fixed. Okay, uh, we can't complete any mechs, but we got pretty close to getting a raven here. Um, what can we take here? Medium pulses. Those are always good for a laugh. Um, Beagle probe. Finally, we find one of these guys. Doesn't seem like it's anything special. Huh. Oh. Oh. Well, hello there. Don't think we need the Beagle probe as much as we need that missile fire control system. Yeah, man. Uh, anything else down here, Pharaoh? Lower arms. Hopefully we get one. All right, let's go that road and see what we get. Okay, fire starter part, trebuchet part. Only oh, got one, eh? Three raven parts. That's awesome. We're so close to getting a raven now. Uh, flamer, good. We got a backup SRM4 plus, which we might be able to put into use. Uh, a couple of jump jets and some SRM ammo. Yeah, this should work out well, I think. Plus one short range missile damage and plus one accuracy. So that's kind of cool. All right. 12,000, not bad. I'm just thinking here, guys. I'm wondering if we switch up the mech loadouts a bit. Maybe we make the Assassin all SRM mech and make the Wolverine all uh, laser mech. Something we can look into. Wolverine's back in one day. Assassin's back in one. Hunchback in five. So let's go this route. Actually, you know what? Let's do it this way. 
because we can get these guys back in the day. Yeah, so let's just have a quick look here before I end the episode. So if we do that, the Assassin's got, I think, four missile points. So only got two. Why did I think it had four? Maybe the one I had before had four. The Assassin I'm thinking of is the one that we had in um, Funky Steve's Medina's to start. It had four missile hard points. I guess that's why I was thinking this one had four. Lots of support points, though. I was thinking if we make this into the SRM boat, we could put um, that SRM boat. Well, maybe we make the... Uh, what if we make the Wolverine just like an, a hardcore SRM boat? So you have the old one in there. For short range missiles, let's do that. Um, if we did make this guy just a missile boat, we'd have two, four, six tons to spend. Eh, don't know that it's worth it. Let's just leave it like this for now. Confirm it at a day. And then in the assassin, be too hard. let's drop in the other one that we just took out of the Wolverine. Um, wait a minute, do we put can't remember if we put Case in the uh, Wolverine or not. Well, let's just refit this for now. Yeah. I was thinking we could lower the core on this, but we need the speed, that's for sure. All right, we'll leave it like that, I guess, for now. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. Sure, there's more upgrades that can be done, but we'll have to do that another time, I think. Uh, so five days, we're back. Pilots are back in five, which is cool. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave the episode here. Uh, we got one the more, uh, one more mission we can pull off before a financial report. Probably what I'll do is I'll sell a few things between episodes, just so we're closer to having our financial report. I think that uh, pirate. Um, uh, Auto Cannon 20 can probably go, um, which will give us another 100 and something thousand. So we'll be pretty close to having our financial report. All right. So we're going to end the episode there. If you liked it, drop a like. Oh, wait, did we get enough rep with these guys? We're at 79. So one more. One more. So next episode, well, we should be able to pull that off. No problems at all. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that next episode. Um, and then I think we're at a point now where we can push ourselves to go to uh, two and a half skull, maybe three skull missions. We'll have to see how it goes. Uh, we've been kind of getting unlucky in some of these missions, the lower missions, not getting good lances, but we'll see how that changes. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're going to leave the episode there. Until next time, we'll see you later.